This is Joyce, and I was just sitting here at my desk thinking about organizing it because we got stuff all over the place. We got all of these bits and pieces and things that I've worked on in the past but have not found a place to put them or have not made a project like I cut all these tags for a reason and ended up making bigger ones. So I have all of these pieces, all of these, I mean just random pieces of stuff that I am going to use on some projects. I'm not even sure what that design on there is. It's like confetti, but... And then I have all these scrap papers, so you know pr previously, but I got all of this stuff. So what I plan to do and look at that there that should have been put up somewhere <clears throat> but I just been laying it in this little cart in this little plate that I have you know it used to be just a few bits and pieces now it is totally overflowing so what I want to do is find my box with all of my <clears throat> excuse me got that I mean just all kinds of stuff I got remotes for the phones and just all kinds of stuff. So I got projects that are completed that I need to do videos. This is numbers that I had cut for a project that I did. Just all of these stuff. I've got envelopes that I made. So, so many <clears throat> bits and pieces and stamped items. So I'm going to organize this and then I am going to actually do some projects. And after all of my getting my scrap papers put up and cut down the size and card bases made, I need to do it again. So I am going to do that. And then I'm going to come back and show you some projects because hopefully, oh, that fell over. Now that big old stack of paper fell to the floor and it's going to be a hot mess. So I'm going to turn back around here. Just all of these things, I need to keep the gift card because I thought it was cute. Mats for cards already cut, so I will be <clears throat> putting those together. Just all of this stuff, guys. So do you do this? Do you organize your scraps beforehand? I, and I have this um, tonic basket set hooked to my desk, which needs to be dusted. But... Most of the, a lot of the bigger pieces of paper, I would just put it in there as I finish the project. So, gosh, my lighting just went crazy. So anyway, I am going to go through this, kind of get it set up and in some kind of order so that I can see exactly what I have. Why did that get so dark? Oh, okay. So it's because of stuff. So I'm going to keep my hands there. That lightens it up. Um, so anyway, this I, I need to change this camera. This is my old video camera. And I bought a new one. And this one kept working. How, why does that happen? So, but it's... Um, yeah, my lighting just got bad. I guess I need to keep a hand under there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here. It's just all kinds of bits and pieces that can be used. I am going to organize. I have uh, words cut out. I've got stamped pieces. I need That's a project I need to work on. So all of these things here, I am going to try and use them. I got all of this. And I didn't put it in the boxes that I have for this because I never go back to those either. So stay tuned. I'm going to come back and I'm going to do everything that I've got here. I'm not going to pull anything from my box with all of my mats and card bases that are already cut. I'm going to try to work with all of this. I would like to use it all and get rid of some of this in here. See, I've got two sleigh and I, I can use these in a project coming up, Christmas project. So it's like I cut all these extras. And then I don't use them. Like I made these. 
I should have done something with them. I did travel stuff. So guys, stay tuned. I will be back. I am going to really try to come together with a lot of these things and see how many cards or other projects I can create. Um, see you shortly. Bye. Guys, so a couple weeks ago, I started this project. I was off for four days for Labor Day uh, weekend, and I started this project, and I never finished the video. So I am here today to share the projects that I made using papers and bits and pieces that were on my desk. I still have not used everything. I mean, seriously, it's just so much. But I wanted to come back and share some of the things that I did use and that I made. And I'm going to try to work some more because I still have a lot here that I really want to use. Little bits and pieces. And it's still paper and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to keep working at this because I hate to throw it away because it's been cut. You know, they're cute little bits and pieces. So I'm going to keep working and trying to use as much of these things as I can. And, you know, you'll be seeing them in the future. So uh, mostly, I mean, I have all these papers here. I'm going to cut some, put them in my um, card base basket where cards are already ready for me to use. But let me show you some of the things that I made using things that were just on my desk. They were cut out. So first, oops. Okay. Sorry, I am losing stuff already. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in because it's cut. I thought I had matted this one. So, I mean, guys, do you do that? Do you have so much stuff on your desk that you can't even see your desk? I'm going to try. For me, they have just been, oh, my nails. I need nails, guys. I don't have any. But anyway, it is pitiful that I can't mat this. And it's just a mat that was inside this Christmas card that I did using. And all of this foil and the the words and the sentiments were cut out and like I say I make a card and I cut too much and uh, so this was just the mat for this card let me do this and anyway so I'm just like okay you need to get this mess cleaned up because I know I've said in the past that I am looking to retire sooner than later next year in January I will have 20 years on my job I can't believe I've been living in Alabama that long but it has been uh, so I will have 20 years and to be honest I'm really ready but I've got a lot of things to plan and clean up and get ready to make a move because I am gonna be moving and that is not why I came here guys so this is the first card and it is just a Christmas card this is a Tim Holtz Merry Christmas die that I had that I've had for a while and it was cut out and I just said okay let's make this card and so that's another Christmas card to go to my and I haven't sta I haven't stamped on the back of that one and then this card is the big die I can't remember who it is now but like I said all of these pieces were cut so I just decided to make cards out of them this one and this um Swiss dots was cut to be on a 5 by 7 card. I just cut it down, matted it with the black paper, and matted the inside. So, But I did start stamping everything. Uh, this Mary and Bright is also from Tim Holtz. This paper is from this collection that I recently got. And it was there, so I just used cut out this sheet. Those are 6x6 six six papers, but I thought it made this card look really cute. I love those trees and the fact that there's snow in the background, so then I just matted that one. This one is another Tim Holtz. 
This paper is also from that little 6x6 six six pack that I just showed you and I just pulled some bling out. Actually the bling was already in my little plate. See I'm almost finished with this sheet but I got so much more. And I got this at Tim Holtz, no Tim Holtz, at Tuesday morning some years ago and it had about five or six packages of this sheet you know individuals I think they were supposed to have been sold individually but at the time I didn't know they were together and they were priced so I bought them and I'm still using them so anyway this paper is from that pack that's another Tim Holtz and this is what the inside looks like and then this one is tonic no, this one is Crafter's Companion. These were this uh, Winter Wishes. And that paper also came from that 6x6 six six pack. See, that's what happened when you have stuff on your desk. But I love how this one turned out. And that is the card. And then this and this one. These are the same. I used my uh, Spellbinders foil thing. And I had cut these out. And for some reason, they dropped down behind something and I didn't do them so they were there so I decided to finish the cards off just more to add to my Christmas and that's that one and then this was the first time I had used my uh, foil machine you know the hot foil plate thingy and I always forget the, what to call it you know but this was these were some of the um, projects that I originally made and this was a Spellbinders plate well it was two of them and the paper is Michaels no is the paper Michaels no the paper is from Tonic uh, the foil um, I take that back the foil is Spellbinders because I've had it a while but I love that it had all these different colors and this is from Crazy Creations and it's the where you take the black outline and put it on the foil paper and then I just cut them out well these boxes have been sitting on my desk for a while and I'm like okay I I need to use those you know and I have some other things from that so and then there's that the foil paper is from Michaels and then this is the second one I mean they look they I mean that's I think that's a really cute birthday card you know and they kind of different they're the same but different and then those are the mats so guys those are the projects that I made I've got more in mind and like I said I have lots of bits and pieces to use but I just wanted to share this because I found the other part to this video that I had done and I'm thinking oh wow so Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And I will be back because, honey, y'all ought to know, even though I made all those cards, using, I still have all of this left over. So I am going to still try to work on this because I really don't want to throw all these things away. Uh, my daughter was here a few weeks ago. And I just pulled out my baskets of cards because I do have so many. And I just told her, take them. Take, get as many as you want. Take them with you. And as you can see, I just keep making cards. So, um, yeah. Guys, thanks so much. And I will be back soon. Bye.